All right, so this is the second part of the final upgrade to the MN78. I finally decided on an ESC. So we're going to finally install this ESC and make sure it works and make sure all the functionality of the crawler works. So let's get it. All right, guys, I got the MN78 here on the bench on the table here. And, you know, I've been waiting on trying to figure out how and what I was going to put in here when it comes to the ESC receiver and all that. So been working on this MN86S and just came to realize that, hey, I can take the ESC out of here. Put it over here in the MN78. That's why that's where that way I don't have to. That way I won't have to cut on the MN78 or take out the interior here. So I didn't want to really just mess up the MN70, cut all on it and all that. So I can just use this in here and it just be a plug and play with that. So and my reason for that is just like I said, I don't want to cut on the MN78. Now this ESC is a little bit better than the MN78s, but not much better. I mean, they're both still noisy, uh, but at least this will give you a little more uh, performance for the 370 motor. At least it should, since it came out of a crawler that had a that has a uh, 380 motor in it. So, but. What I end up doing is I shave this little notch here down and I shave these two notches, notches down, but not all the way down. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this ESC board in there and I'm going to glue it to those notches uh, on each corner here and there and a little bit there. So, and that should hold it in place. All right, so let me get to doing that and I'll come back. All right, I'll do the edge. Like that. Come on, I'll do this edge. Not too much, but just enough to catch it so it won't move. That's my hot glue job. Like I said, I just glued the corners here and here. And then I got that end right there glued. So, and that should keep it in place for no problem. It's not moving right now, so we're in business. All right. So that's that on that. I plug it in the right way. The ground goes there. And plug in the motor. Now 
Now, before I put this body back on and plug all this in, we're going to put a battery on this connector battery and make sure it works and everything. So let's do that. Let me get the battery in the remote for the MN86 and see if it works. Then if it works, then we'll button everything back up and then we'll finish working on the MN86. So let me get back with you. All right, so I got the battery. You know what I forgot to do? I think I forgot to. Uh, let's see. I forget to get the on and off switch plug. So let me get that. Right. So before we. Actually, connect that. Let's plug it in here. So we got the battery in. Put it right here. We got the remote. Let's turn it on. See it's on. Let's switch the truck on. So we got the steering is working. Let's see if throttle works. Here we go. So we need to switch the wires because forward is reverse and reverse is forward. So let's turn this off. And on this controller you can't reverse the switch reverse it on the controller because there's no option no button for it so it only has an on off and your uh, steering uh, just in your steering you know center your steering so uh, so, to, so to reverse this we just have to, re to get it corrected we just have to Change out the plugs. Connect the red to the black and the black to the red. And now we should be fine. Let's turn it back on. And it does that. I want to see if it's centered. Here we go. There we go. Forward is forward. Reverse is reverse. So we got it working. All right. All right. Next thing to do is I plugged up the lights and everything. So basically, we're going to check and see if the lights work like they should. So, like I said, this is it the ESC from the MN86 and the MN86 don't have as many lights as this uh, MN78, but it has the same uh, setup 
when it comes to like right signal, left signal, uh, you know, headlights. Uh, I think the only difference is the MN86 and the MN128, they have reverse lights. Whereas this truck does not have reverse lights. So we're going to see if that is an issue. So let's put the battery in this way. This is actually where the battery goes. Plug it in. I don't have the body screwed in yet, so turn the switch on. All the lights are flashing because I don't have the remote on. Turn the remote on. And they stop flashing. So the way the MN86 was set up was the lights only come on when you give it throttle. So as you see, the lights are not on. Now originally the MN78 ESC, you had a button to control whether you want the lights on or not. You can turn them on, turn them off. Uh, let's see. Here, you still got your signals. Let's look at the rear. Go reverse. So the lights come on when you go forward. So that was the thing too about the MN86. Uh, when you go in reverse, the lights come on in reverse. Uh, they had like backup lights. And so with this, when I go forward, you have no rear lights come on at all. But you have the front lights that actually comes on. Headlights and the fog and the uh, fog lights that you want to call it. Same works. So that's the only thing you're giving up if you use the MN86 ESC is the fact that you can't turn on or you know turn on or off the lights because there's no switch on here for it. So that's what you're losing. And this project is finished. No more upgrades for it. I mean, I know a lot of guys they put metal links and stuff on here. But I'm not going to do this to this truck. I already got the metal uh, steering links on. Uh, did the metal transmission gears. Uh, motor upgrade. A semi-ESC upgrade. So I uh, got a wheel upgrade. They're not metal wheels, but they are uh, bigger wheels than the stock. And do have upgraded shots on here. So that is all I'm going to do to this truck. And so let me button it up. Next thing we'll do is do a run video with the new motor and ESC. And we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. Y'all be safe. And I'll see y'all on the next one.